Okay, super fast intro today. Welcome to round three. Today is 1990 to 1991, and we're taking a look at this bad boy. I will catch you during context cards. Yeah, you can tell if you watch the other ones that I didn't point any cards out because it was going to take too long. So context cards is going to be pretty fucking heavy on me this time around. So you'll find out which cards are sentimental to me and you'll learn a bit about the NFL at this time. I'll just be dropping random knowledge that I know. So, Okay, here we are in context cards. Now this is going to be a little difficult because this is my first time doing a binder this big and there are a lot more players that i know this time around yeah i'm gonna try not to do too much in the depth you know these are your 90s all-stars uh, what can i say it, it, montana uh reggie singletary lt like there's there's nothing i gotta say here carl mecklenburg in the top left i ooh, i love ron woodson so much he's so sick so I put the all pros here first just because I thought they looked sharp all together. I also didn't have too many of these and I thought they looked cool together. Then these are people that were elected into the Hall of Fame for the class of 1990, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, or uh, no, um, Cortez Kennedy, what am I talking about? These are rookies. These are not Hall of Famers. Holy shit. Moving on. Montana, Marino, Cunningham, you know, we got some, some of the best passers 
of this time. Jeff George, rookie card, I thought was really cool. Bob Greasy, you know, Flutie and Grogan, my New England boys. Jim Harbaugh, when he was playing. Once we get to our running backs, we got Bo Herschel Walker. He's a bit of a goober now, but when it comes to his last... When it comes to his athletic career, it is extremely impressive. We got Franco Harris, uh, Christian, uh, fuck, I always fuck up his last name, Okie, Okie, some, some of our greatest fullbacks ever. Franco Harris has one of the coolest Super Bowl highlights ever. We got our boy Jerry, TB, Sterling Sharp, Andre Reed, Steve Large, uh, Willie Anderson, Ricky Prohl. As a rookie, he was in two Super Bowls, one with the uh, Rams when they beat the Titans, and unfortunately the other one for him was the Panthers when they lost against the Patriots. Mm -hmm. Ozzie Newsome, great tight end. Yeah, there's a lot going on here. Uh, Reggie White, The Fridge, William Perry, uh, Hall of Famer, Book Buchanan. B Buck Buchanan, Jesus. Some of these names, man, they, they fuck me up. The linemen on this page are pretty solid. You know, I do like the way score looks, except, you see, like, the way, like, the borders are on the colors? Part of me wanted to try to, like, match up the border colors, so it would be, like, a full page of blue, but the w it just wouldn't be consistent enough, and the way I did the other cards, I don't know, I kind of wanted to keep the same format, but, you know, we got LT, Kevin Green, Andre Tippett, Jack Lambert, and a Junior Seha rookie card there. Morton Anderson, the pretty much one of the first, like, greatest kickers ever. Not first, but, you know... He was, like, kind of Vinatieri before Vinatieri. Tom Landry I, here, and, uh, I believe, oh, fuck. I think that's Vince Lombardi. I'm not 100% sure. I'm, I'm really blanking. I know who that is, dude. And it's, it's actually, it's killing me. Hold on. Actually, it's, I have to know. I have to know. What do you know? Let's go. I was like, I was like, I think it's him, but I, I don't know. We're moving on to a different type of cards here. We got Elway, two-time champ. Oh, Andre Tippett. Rod Woodson, once again. We got Montana, Greasy, JK. John Stevens in the corner there. James Brooks, Highsmith. Ernest Givens was really good. I love this Chris Carter card. Him on the fucking Eagles. It's so cool. I, like, didn't know he was on the Eagles for so long growing up. And then I pulled this card. And I was like, what? Like, why did I remember that? Like, I don't know. I should have known, but I did not. Sterling Sharp was very good with Favre. Oh, he was a bitch, man. Got that W against the... um. I think he was there for that 96 Super Bowl. I'm fairly certain. Um, did he retire before? I don't know. Andre Reid, Pro Bowl year, Ernest Givens, Mark Ingram, the current Mark Ingram's father, I'm pretty sure. Jack Lambert, this was the year he got into the Hall of Fame. Derek Brooks for a while. I Actually, I think he still actually holds the record for the most sacks in a single game with seven. Uh, we have Andre Tippett, Leslie O'Neill, Shane Colon. A lot of talented linebackers on this page. Kevin Ross also made the Pro Bowl that year. Steve Atwater. I love Steve Atwater. He would fucking rail people, dude. Oh my goodness. Um, these cards are pretty cool. They're like, they're 1990, but they show like Notre Dame's history. Um, I am pretty sure he was on a coaching staff of my brother's recently when he was in college football. Um, Chuck Heater it was either that or he was like the mentor to his coach. I forget. It was something like that. Pretty interesting cards. I don't have many cards that are like the, uh, I, I had really no other place for them because they're mainly football. I was like, I'll just put them in here, you know? These I thought were pretty cool. Like all of Notre Dame's bowl for, for like the cards that I pulled. Oh, we were moving on. Oh, we were moving on to 91. I like that 1K rushing card. The inserts in this are pretty sharp. I like that. I'm not... It's not that I don't like side cards. It's just I'm not a big fan. Breaks the rhythm. These cards I like. I like the full art, but at the same time, it's kind of annoying because... Oh, oh, 
as for me, like, somebody that didn't grow up in this generation, it's, like, a lot of, like, the, not that they were bad, but, like, more average players that you would kind of only know if you were in the era were harder for me to learn with cards like this. But I still think they're they're really sharp. And obviously, I don't have a ton of them, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, then we got score 91. I think this Deion Sanders is super sharp. I just kind of reminds me of, I don't know, it's just so retro. And it's, I like, uh, it reminds me a lot of the basketball cards I have. I think I had a lot of score 91. Or maybe it was like Fleer or something. But they had that similar like art style and aesthetic. We got Vinny T in the top left. Andre Ryson next to Andre Reed. But Mark Ingram again in the top left here. Reggie. This was my first card of Junior Seha. Um, I love Junior Seha. It's very tragic what happened to him. He was just an amazing linebacker. And Bruce Smith still holds the record for the most sacks of all time with 200. Deion Sanders. Once again, Dion's just so cool, bro. Like, Dion is, like, top five trippiest players of all time. You know what I'm saying? I think these are really sharp. I really wish that, like, the luck of, like, the way the cards panned out and wish I had nine of these so it was, like, a full page of that. That would have looked really cool, in my opinion. But same with these. Like, um, I th I'm pretty sure these are fan art cards, which is really cool. Like, they took, like, drawings and put those as the cards. I think that's such a good idea. I've always loved cards like that. And also, like, it's not like they look, like, clunky or anything. Like, it's really sharp. I like it. I like the art style. Um, oh, you know what? It could have been a full page if the if the luck had lined up. I wish these cards I wish looked more like this, but it's okay. Because these are still very sharp. You know, we got Elway. Harbaugh, Cunningham, uh, Brett Favre, rookie card right there, Dan Marino, Warren Moon, we have Emmett Smith and Barry Sanders right here, I think this Barry card is so cool, I love the way like he would hold the ball, he was just so fast, he didn't necessarily like need to tuck it all the time, and then we got Thermy, uh, Marcus Allen, Ricky uh, Waters rookie card, Herschel Walker again, Otis Anderson. It, dude, there's a lot of <laughs> dude, holy shit. I forgot how loaded these running backs are. Um, I'm gonna pause because I have to pee. And yeah, with some goaded receivers, Jerry Rice, Chris Carter on the Vikings now. Uh, Sterling Sharp, Andre Reed, Herman Moore, rookie card, most receptions in a season before Michael Thomas broke it, I believe. Also TB, Michael Irv. <laughs> Call back the last video. They were wearing blue jerseys this game. <laughs> I'm going to keep that going. We got Henry Ellard, Roy Green, Mark Bavaro, Super Big Sweetheart, uh, William Perry, Howie Long, uh, Chris Long's father, and Jake Long's father, actually. Tim Green, I remember, I'm pretty sure it was Tim Green, whose books I read uh, growing up. Derek Thomas again, Junior Seah, Kevin Green, Jack Del Rio, really good linebacker, Tony Bennett as well, and Cornelius Bennett, and Andre Tippett. This page is loaded when it comes to the linebackers. Ronnie Lippett. Mark Carter, I believe, led the league in interceptions this year. Yeah, so, like, when it comes to context cards, when it is older cards, it's a little bit tricky because either I got them more later on or I, yeah, or inherited them from my dad later on. But these ones I got later on, so they just, it's not that I don't love these cards, right? I do. But I don't have as much childhood stories behind them as I will when it comes to years like 2003 to 9 or more like 11. So I'm more just pointing out players and just kind of dropping some NFL knowledge too. So that if you wanted to know about a certain era you didn't know as much about and who were some of the key players. There you go. Hey, I just want to say I'm editing and I know that some of my edits look really funky or clunky, like, I know in some of my past videos, like, I had pictures that are, like, overlapping each other, and it's really frustrating because the video app that I'm using is really easy to use to, like, chop up and splice my videos, and it also has a really easy UI to be able to implant both pictures and videos, but the problem is, whenever I save it to my camera roll, the 
edits that I import don't end up where I actually place them. They'll be way to the left for some reason, either causing overlapping or just like, it just looks like odd. Like, why would anybody place it there? So that's my current battle when it comes to editing. I'm going to tr really try to fix that. I think I just had to fix or change the app that I'm using. Like I end up using that app to edit the actual like individual videos and then you splice to combine all of them. And then once it's in my camera roll, I just upload it to YouTube. But yeah, it's really frustrating. It, I don't know what the cause is for that i don't know how to stop it from doing that so i think i just need to change my editing platform so my bad